So that's why you prefer initialize an injection because you define in the initializer. You can only use a table view controller if you have an API manager, right? If you don't have an API manager, this view controller is unusable. It would it's, crash. Uh, it's not going to load any data, but yeah, it would, it would pretty much crash, right? Let's say this is a mandatory dependency. If you try to access oh, it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot send a message to Neil, right? It would yeah. crash here. Yeah. So it is mandatory. That's why you want to use initializer injection. You are defining in the interface. You can only create this user stable view controller with an API manager. You can never instantiate it without one. Otherwise, so you define this in the type system statically. You cannot do the wrong thing. Now you resort to property injection when you cannot do it because you're using like a main storyboard, for example. And what is the downside of property injection is that it, there's temporal coupling because you need to, def to inject this dependency before calling the view did load. If you change it after, you have issues. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Also, you enable this to be changed at runtime multiple times after the load that the view loaded, which means you can lead to unex unexpected behavior. Is it possible to change the API after the view controller is already on screen? This API allow it, but if you do it, it can be it can lead to runtime errors, which means the best way would be to define as a dependency in the initializer, because this way you can set it one and only once at creation time, and then you avoid temporal coupling. Temporal coupling is like something needs to be happen in specific order, otherwise everything blows up. <laughs> yeah, and by using a let, by the way, right? That's the that's the difference there that enables mutation for the var API. It will be a let if you use initializer. And you're done. You cannot change that anymore. A constant. Yeah. It's much safer for your code. 